most people think there are only a few Unreal Engine games on the App Store. Well, most people are wrong. The reason there are so many more is because there is now an Unreal Engine kit in which you can make your own Unreal Engine games for free. It's called UDK. This first game is called Going Ball. Keep in mind that the next few games will each have their own separate reviews from me and I will give you a tutorial on how to record the screen like I do. This first game is uh, very creative but I'm pretty sure the creator needs a psychiatrist because some weird things happen in this game that are pretty unexplainable. Uh, you basically roll a ball down a wood plank. This is a game called Fun Game where you recklessly hit down blocks in your attempt to have fun which is basically the object of the entire game. Rock, Paper, Scissors is a unbelievable game because most people try to use Unreal Engine for its graphics. This game uses it for an AI program. Keep in mind that the AI is another advancement of the Unreal Engine, not just graphics. Heavy Turtle is a game where you just randomly shoot down. Um, I'm not really sure what those are. Uh, I guess I'll have to find that one out. So, it's basically one level, short map, that's it. Um, this is a game called Atmospheric. Not really a game, but when you touch a planet, it will start to rotate and play music. Which I think is kind of odd. But it's not really fun, but it's very cool to look at. Castle Rama is a game very similar to Epic Citadel. Uh, I think it's more beautiful because it's based on a real place, somewhere in Italy, I forget where, um, but it is very pretty. Uh, this next game is called Chicken Coop. This is a game where you have to try to distract hens from foxes and bring them into the pen house. This is a game called Bay Bridge Explorer. This is a fun game, but remember, it's just a driving simulation, not a racing game, so don't expect to get much out of it. Cyclone Dash is a game where you have incoming hazards and uh, you have to swipe them to get them out of the way. It's very addicting, this one, um, and I've been at it a lot. Uh, my high score is 112. See if you can beat it. Uh, there we go. Got three out of the way. This is the last game called Dungeon Defenders, where it's the first Unreal Engine powered RPG sword fighting game. Probably the first of its kind, but probably not the last. Well, that's the end of that one. Uh, that's basically it. That's all of them I know about. If you can see more, leave it in the comments. See you, YouTube.